So the state records how many um, employees of large businesses have to, are, are uninsured and are forced to use public health insurance, like Medicaid and you know, the free care pool and Commonwealth care. So TJX has 782 employees and 579 dependents on public uh, health insurance programs. Huh. And it costs taxpayers over $2 million to subsidize TJX workers. So. Really? That includes workers at the stores in like too, not just workers at the Fall River, um, at the Fall River distribution right. warehouse. So there is some discrepancies there because there's you know, thousands of workers in these stores, but the reality is the workers in Fall River can't afford their insurance. They pay close to $600 a month for a family coverage, and their deductible is somewhere between two and three thousand dollars. Um, and they have a limit on the amount of health insurance they can actually use, which is I think four thousand dollars after that. Which, if you ask me, sounds like they're paying more than they're actually getting out of this coverage. In Massachusetts, there are three warehouses. Um, there is the, there is one in Fall River, there is one in Worcester, who actually just settled and was able to keep the union health care plan, which is why we think that they can actually get this plan into folks at Fall River and Bloomfield. And then there's one up in Waltham, Massachusetts, not far from your stomping grounds, my friend. Okay. Yeah, and they actually also have the union health care coverage, and they're you know their country is a lot better so, than the one that the current they currently have at these two other warehouses. We've mailed it once. We have emailed it three times, and we faxed it three times. So we're just so following orders. Apart, called them. They've ignored us. We've tried. We've emailed them. We've ignored them. They've ignored us. We faxed them. They've ignored us. They, we tried to do a delegation during a rally. They refused us. So we're going to go in and we are going to ask for a meeting with the uh, CEO um, to talk to them about the health care crisis that's facing their workers. Um, and from there, they're either going to say, hold on, let me get you the person from PR, which is the most, which is actually highly likely they'll probably do that. Or please leave for calling the police. <laughs> but I delivered a letter to the CEO. They asked us to uh, fax an email in advance, so we sent it on in advance. Yeah. Uh, who can we talk to? The um, I don't think he's available at this time. So could you, could you could you call up and ask uh, if somebody be willing to come down and talk to us? Um, I don't know who I would contact in this case. Anyone from the corporate headquarters? I have somebody coming down. No, that's why we told, I think, you last time to mail it. You know, we did. You know, we did. We can we've, accept it this time. We've but, mailed, yeah. emailed, and faxed. They've okay. not gotten a response, so yeah. that's why we're back.